Hey everyone, AppChasers.com here. Today we're going to take a look at a new feature of the iPhone operating system, iOS, which is called widgets. Now widgets are little previews of apps uh, that you can see without even opening the app. This has been a long time wish of iPhone and iPad fans to be able to get some data out of an app or see some information from an app without actually having to Go in, go in and launch the app itself. Now the way Apple has carried this out is really neat because it actually allows you to see a widget without even unlocking your phone if you so desire. And that's because widgets in iOS now reside in the Today screen. This is a notification center, so you may have uh, at one time or another pulled down from the top of your screen like I just did. We'll do that again. Pull down from the top of the screen and you've got your today view as well as uh, your notification view. Here at the top you can see uh, different notifications that have come to you throughout the day. But we're going to focus on the today view on the left hand tab there. And you can see we've got our date displayed. Now that's nothing new. But underneath here we now have widgets available. Now these widgets are all based on apps that we've already installed on our iPhone. So that's a good point that you need to remember is first you need to install apps that support widgets on your iPhone and then you'll have these widgets available. So for instance, uh, just looking from the top here, we've got the Hue, Philips Hue app um, already installed and we've got the Hue uh, system in our home here so we can control our lights just by using this simple widget. Now next up we've got Dark Sky, that app installed, and so we can see an hourly forecast of what's coming up weather-wise uh, just using a widget based on that app. Next we have Fantastical, right here we can see a little preview of our calendar. We don't have any events today, but you can type, just tap on different um, different uh, days here and what that'll do is show you the events that are scheduled for that day. Now you can also long press on any one of these days and it'll go ahead and open up Fantastical, the app, ready to uh, take some input for an event that you'd like to create. Next we have the uh, Clips app installed and this is really neat because Clips basically is a clipboard manager which is uh, excellent tool to use. Have you ever noticed that um, if you copy something on your iPhone, you can paste it, but it would be nice to have uh, access to some of your clipboard history. So maybe not the last thing you copied, but maybe two or three things ago, uh, items that you've copied. Well, now Clips, the app, gives you access to all your previous clipboard uh items right here. So you could touch any one of these and it'll now be your active uh, copy or active item on your clipboard that you can then go ahead and paste. And we also have Pedometer Plus Plus. Now this is another app and this is showing us in the widget that uh, our, basically our daily activity of what we've done so far. You can see here I've walked 4,754 steps or the equivalent of 2.2 miles. And then on the iPhone and iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, you've got uh, your elevation too that you can um, see there. Now ETA is another app that uh, stands for Estimated Time of Arrival, but that shows you um, some places that you can designate uh, in the app itself, and it'll show you them here in the widget, showing how long it'll take to get to those uh, different places. And uh, if you touch on either of these or any of your saved places, it'll open either Apple's Maps app and direct you right to that place or Google Maps if you have that installed on your device. And that'll also um, launch and then give you driving directions. So you can set that in the ETA app itself. Now we also have Drafts here. That's our favorite note-taking app where you can uh, hit the plus icon, uh, create a new note. You can hit plus clipboard, which creates a new note from uh, with uh, text already input from your clipboard. And then we also can open a brand new empty note from this widget. 
Another one we have is I translate, and that will uh, translate anything for you on your clipboard. Now let's show you how to actually go ahead and add one of these widgets. Again, you'll need to have already installed an app that supports a widget uh, on your device itself, just as you normally would from the iTunes App Store. But once you have that app installed, you can click here on the Edit button, and now this is going to show us all of the widgets that we have enabled at the top. And then at the bottom, we've got apps that we have installed that we don't have that widget enabled. So let's go ahead here and enable one of these. We'll, we'll enable the Evernote app. Now we'll go here and we'll scroll up again. We'll see that that is now in our notification center. And uh, if you just touch on the right here, you can reorder. Uh, these different widgets. So let's put that at the top. We'll hit done and now we'll scroll up and we'll notice that we've got our Evernote widget now ready to go. So this will allow us to open a new note with text, maybe go straight to the camera or start with a photo or a reminder. So that's how you enable widgets in iOS to give you a little bit of an overview of what widgets do. And these are some of our favorites. This has been AppChasers.com.